Hi, I'm Chef Alex, and we're going to talk a little bit about some knives, some utensils here. So, in a previous video, I showed you, or actually, I talked to you about the difference between expensive knives and less expensive knives. In this case, I want to show you what I was talking about. Here, let me slide this into the camera. Now, this over here is a Hankel. And this is the Forstner that I was talking about in my previous video. Um, now, the video was titled, uh, Expensive, Knives, Expensive Knives Are Crap. And there's a reason for that. See, I've had this knife here for, I want to say, 20 years. Now, this knife uh, was a gift. This knife, uh, very nice. It's a beautiful knife, okay? It's extremely heavy, that's first of all. It's, uh, I want to say, it's a good two and a half times as heavy as the, as the other one. And it's heavier on the base here in the handle. Now what you can't see, let's see if I can get it close enough that you can see. There you go. I think you can see it here. See his cracks? There's a crack there. There's a crack there. It's cracked here. It's cracked there. And it's got a crack there. You can see the cracks. You can even see the line, the difference in the height. Okay? Now, this is a hundred dollar knife. hundred plus. Okay? It's supposed to come with a lifetime warranty, but you have to mail it in and it has to be approved by the warranty, whatever. Um, you pay $100 for a knife and you can't put it in the dishwasher. That's the issue that I have with these knives, okay? Um, I have uh, classy Italian. Can't put it in the dishwasher. It's really nice. It's got different colors on the handles and stuff. Uh, my other chef knife, uh, Friedrich Dick, is, uh, is dirty right now, so I'm this is a, one of from the set of the utensils that I got from school way back. And this is, uh, this is a Friedrich Dick. And like I said, this came with the set. But these are expensive, okay? If you were to go buy a Friedrich Dick set, uh, you would pay a lot of money. Just like the Henkel, Wolstoff, uh, Classy Italian, etc. Uh, the Shun, the Hans... Um, all these brands of knives are very expensive. In the end, okay, after 20 years, this $40 knife is my go-to knife. It's extremely light. It's extremely fast. It's the fastest knife I own because it's very thin and it's very light, okay? Now, we could talk about this all day, so I'm going to make this short. The bottom line is... If you're focusing on these things because you know you're you're just you're a new chef, okay? Most new chefs are into their knives and their utensils and all that bullshit. It's bullshit, okay? You're gonna get a, a two hundred dollar knife and you're not gonna put it in the dishwasher. The day you screw up and put it in the dishwasher, it'll break. Okay? And if the handle doesn't break there's a good possibility that you might take it to work and it gets swiped and you lose it. So my advice to you is to take this, okay? And if you notice, it has a wood handle. If you were to take a little vegetable oil and just rub it on this like this, it would look good. There's nothing wrong with that knife for $40, okay? We'll talk again.